Welcome back to another cool tool show and tell. Today my guest is Chris Rummel. Chris is a Bay Area artist and maker who makes mixed media art. One of his specialties are these little miniature architectural pieces that I saw on Instagram a few months back and blew me away. I thought it'd be great to have Chris on the show to talk with him about some of the tools he's using to make his art. Chris, thanks for joining me today. Thanks so much. All right, what'd you bring to show us? So, uh, first off, I've got this, um, this Westcott ruler. It's a transparent, uh, gridded ruler, and I find it super important for my day-to-day -day work. Um, I do a lot of lettering. I've been doing a lot of model making lately, and so being able to see through this ruler and lay out a lot of parallel lines has been really uh, helpful for me. So it's kind of the first thing I grab when I go to start working. All right, and I see it's the, uh, the Westcott 18... 18 inch eight beveled ruler. Is that the one we're talking about? That's the right. Yeah, B85. All right. And so uh, when we're talking about the bevel on the ruler, what does that refer to? Is that the edge kind of bevels? Yeah, out? so it's got a beveled edge on it. Um, you know, ideally, I think that's so the wick, uh, the ink doesn't wick through if you're drawing a line on it. And honestly, that's like secondary to my whole uh, use with this thing. Um, yeah, it's mainly the, the transparency of it that has uh, worked really well for me so far. All right. And so that's like if you're, if you're drawing a line and then maybe you want to have another line parallel to it, you, be, you can kind of register up to the line you just drew. Is that kind Correct. of the advantage? Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So I do, you know, especially with lettering, you've got a baseline and a, you know, a cap line. And so being able to lay down that first line and then without doing the, you know, like measure up three inches, make a notch, you know, measure up farther down and then draw that line. Um, you're able to just move your ruler right on top of it. Um, so it's super useful. All right. Now I'm going to put you on the spot because I know you set up a demo here, or at least like the ability to, to see how it, how it works. Give us a little uh, taste of what it, what it looks like when it's on paper. Um, so a lot of what I'm talking about there, um, you know, ordinarily I probably wouldn't be working with a Sharpie, uh, probably something a finer point. Um, but yeah, if I'm, I'm working my way through, um, I've got my top line here, and then through this ruler I'm able to index it onto the – the lines inside of there. So ah. I've got the ability to crank across this whole sheet and do out. So a lot of times, like if I'm doing model stuff, uh, it's one of those where repetitive tasks of, you know, cutting a bunch of strips or marking off brickwork or something like that, I'm able to go through there. Um, it also, with the perpendicular lines in here, you're able to kind of get a good sense of, you know, vertical as well. So I can come in and then continue off and make my grid uh, this way as well. If I need to go longer than, say, I've got bigger than my two-inch span on my ruler, um, you know, I'm able to mark off a line, and then I can go off, you know, an inch and a half or whatever um, on this side. And so now I've got a three-and-a-half-inch gap right. here. So um, all of those things make it super useful for me. And then, you know, I'm able to lay out a quick line of lettering, and I know where everything needs to be. That's that's really cool. So it's kind of like you get the advantage of like a grid ruled paper, but like you can mm -hmm. just put put impose it on the, the parts of the sheet Correct. that you want. Yeah. So for example, a piece of basswood or balsa wood or something like that, piece of styrene, any of those things. Um, the one you know hang up I've had with these is you know I will the the temptation is always there to use this to then cut your pieces as well. And you can run a razor along here, but um, the risk of chewing up your your ruler is right. real. Um, that bevel in particular, I bet, it's going to run yes, it up. Yes, exactly. Um, so I did find, you know, Alvin makes another one, an ACR20, that's got a stainless steel edge on it. And so that allows it, it's got this, a similar sort of grid pattern on it. Um, it's not quite the same, but it's pretty close. It's about the closest uh, comparison I've been able to find that has uh, a cuttable edge. And so if I know I'm really working into a heavy material, um, I'll use this guy with the stainless steel edge. Uh, the other part is the Westcott is, you know, on the order of about $4. Uh, so I've got, you know, three of varying quality that I've been running through. So as I eat up an edge, I'll go and buy a new one, and that one's for pencil lines, and then work your way from there. Got it. So, well, you sh you showed off the Alvin there. Let's take a look at that, too, while we're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Um, 
so you know this is a nice uh, a nice one as well. Um, it does have the eighth inch grid, which is important to me. Uh, some of them have this uneven grid spacing, and a lot of times, uh, you know, the way my mind works, I need that full grid. So sometimes they'll have you know rather than eighths, it'll be on a quarter inch on the you know the horizontal, and that doesn't really work for me. Um, it does go, the grid goes all the way up to the cutting edge, which is important. So if I'm cutting one eighth inch strips or whatever, I can get there, um, you know, right up to that line. Um, and then it's got these little, uh, non skips, uh, non skid strips on here. And yeah. so it keeps it nice and firm. And then it does have the bevel edge in the same way on the other side. So, um, you know, you can do your inking or whatever as well. Yeah. That almost seems like a great one to have expressly for cutting because of the non-skid strips yes. there so that it doesn't slip away while you're cutting down and also that, that steel reinforcement on that edge i feel like mm -hmm. I, I don't do a lot of you know drawing or or i i don't think personally i would have a lot of use for the gridded ruler aspect of it but right. the idea of the non-slip uh steel reinforced cutting ruler seems mm -hmm. like something i could really put put to use here yeah most definitely all right, Chris. Hey, thanks a lot for walking us through the rulers. Um, I'll have links to all of your information down here in the description. And definitely check out Chris's Instagram feed because uh, the, the models he makes and all the mixed media art is incredible. And it's what caught my eye to get him on the show here. So, uh, Chris, thanks for talking to me. And uh, let's talk again soon. Thanks so much, Donald.